has a lot of money in the world, and Franklin has nearly all of it. He's been a billionaire to a zillionaire and upgrades his house every single time. He's lived in places only dreams are made of. But today, we're about to pull off what's never been done before. You see, I've been scavenging high and low for cash. I don't care where it comes from because when you have this much money in your bank account, there's not much else left. But I found one place. One place which actually has money. The Blaine County Savings Bank. This is the only other place where money exists, other than Franklin's bank account. But if I pull off this heist, we'll officially have made a gugillion dollars. I've done the calculations, and I think there's enough in there. And nobody has ever been a gugillionaire before. And with that much money in my bank account, I can do literally whatever I want, including upgrade my house one last time. We've done some awesome upgrades. Last time was a centillionaire, and then it was a decillionaire, and before that it was, let me think. Oh, I remember, a nonillionaire. All of those houses were great. <laughs> they were cute, actually, when you compare it to the one we're gonna build today. The definition of a gugillion dollars is an amount which can't even be calculated. There's no exact amount of zeros behind it. It's a gobbledygook, made-up number. Something you say when there's a lot of stuff out there. But it's time to finally reach that amount. And I don't even know if this is gonna break my game. We're gonna hit the limit on the amount of cash you can make in this universe. And this place is gonna help me get there. Let's do this, Frank. <laughs> Hello, gentlemen. I would like to steal all of your cash. That's right. Get on the ground. I'm not kidding. I need to shoot out these cameras just in case somebody comes to arrest me. Hey, get on the ground, tellers. They don't want any trouble. I just want the key card to take the money. All right, I got the key card. Oh, yeah. Okay, we got a four-star one to level. Not surprised there. I would have given myself a one to level two. I right, whack it in. Okay, this guy's called Mark. The other guy's called Richard. Richard, Mark, I'm sorry I had to do this. <laughs> You're gonna have to break the news that you were the guys who let me take the rest of the money. How is everyone gonna eat? Alright, let's jump in. There's some cash out here. This is great. Alright, load it up, Frank. Get every single dollar in your bag. 5 million, 11 million, 16. If I make it over 100 million dollars, we've capped out the limit and made it to a gugillion dollars. 61, 66, 72, 77. <laughs> Done it, dude. 94, and there it is. 100 million. I may as well steal everything else, you know, get some extra cash on the side. Whoa, what's happened back here? Okay, quite a mess has happened in this room. <laughs> well, it's all right. I'll just keep taking this cash. 155, 160, 166, dude. Okay, we're gonna make like a quarter of a billion dollars just from this heist. Can you imagine the house we're gonna build? For a gugillion dollars, it's gonna be better than any house we've ever seen. Anyway, thank you very much, guys. You've done fantastic. You have officially given me the rest of the money in the universe. All right, Frank, you know the drill. We've got a few officers outside and I'm not afraid to get crazy with them. <laughs> All right, quick, get a new car. Get a new car, Frank. We're driving out of here. Whatever you do, don't get arrested. Da -da 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 -da. All right, see you later, officers. Thank you very much. If I can make it away from the police, I will have a gugillion dollars. But don't worry, I've got a plan. These guys are not gonna stop me. Whoa, oh, oh my days. Okay, they shot out a tire. They shot out a tire. Okay, maybe my plan was not this. But we can still do this. My car is getting completely destroyed. If I can just get to the beach and then keep my eyes peeled. I know there's an escape route around here somewhere. There's like a pipe I can go down. It leads me straight to the sewers. Where is it? Where is it? I know it exists. Come on. Oh, no, guys. I think I'm on the wrong side of the beach. <laughs> oh, this is really awkward. Well, looks like I'm gonna have to turn around and go that way instead. No way. These guys really didn't want me to steal the money. <laughs> they got airstrikes coming down on me. Alright, better watch out for them. I just need to get to the sewers. That's literally all I gotta do. If I get inside that pipe, the police will lose me. I know they will. What happened to the planes. Oh, no, they're still chasing me. All right, we better get moving. We better get moving. Yes, you guys, that's it. That's the pipe. Quick, get in, get in, get in, Frank, get in. We'll head down and lose the police through here. They won't dare come down this pipe unless they got a death wish, which I'm sure some of them do. <laughs> they sent an airstrike after me. That is not normal for a four-star wonder level. They clearly need this money. Come on, officers. Come on. I dare you. Someone just pop your face into the pipe. I'll be waiting. I'm really expecting just someone to pop their head around now. I, why, why am I thinking that. It's never gonna happen. <laughs> hello? Is anyone down there? Come on! Say hello to Frank. Is it not worth risking your life for? I've lost the police. I've got the money. And most of all, my game is still working. I've done it. Franklin, we are the very first Googillionaire in GTA 5. Now, we could enjoy the craziest lifestyle. Believe me, we could. But this video is exclusively for the house upgrade. I want to see what those talented builders can build for me today. What does it say over here? It just says a Googillion. That's all it says. That's insane. Ha, ha, ha.
<laughs> All right, I never thought I would say like actual Googillion. I phoned up the builders, let them know what's happening, and any second now they'll be here. So in the meantime, I'm just gonna enjoy a nice little drink to myself. I'm a Googillionaire. I'm the richest man in the world. There is not a single dollar out there which isn't in my bank account right now. Oh yeah, I, I can taste the wealth right now, Frank. This is beautiful. <laughs> we have never been this wealthy before in GTA. <gasps> there they are. Okay, they're already at the door. Amazing, they were so quick on it. This is the wealthiest construction company ever to exist, by the way. And they're gonna make even more to do. Whoa, jeez. Okay, I've never seen this many of you guys here. Oh my days, you're on my house? What are you doing up there? Hey, Steve, you having a good day? Yeah, I never been better. You want another house? Yeah, I would love another house, Steve. Uh, you got any cool ideas? Yeah, I got plenty. How about you? Yeah, I, I got a couple of ideas as well. I, I, basically, I want to make sure this house is the best one you've ever done. I want to have like a million cars on there. I want to have two golden helicopters. I want to have flying cars. No, I want to have flying Lamborghini cars. I want to have it all. Yeah, we can do that. You got the money? Yes, sir. I've got the money. Here you go. You kill your dog. Whoa, I can't see anything. It's just zeros. Don't bother counting it. It's all there, I promise. Yeah, thanks. We'll give you a call later. All right, sounds good to me. I'm so glad these guys aren't asking you to subscribe. They did that before. And it was so evil of them. You know, I paid them all my money and then they blackmail me with subscribers. You know, I'm glad you guys are actually getting on with the job. So I'm gonna get out of here, enjoy the rest of my day, and, uh, you know, try and see what else we can do around Los Santos with zero dot. Wait a second, I gave them all of my money? No, I had like a hundred mil left. You guys saw what I made in the heist? I only needed a hundred million dollars to make a Google And hey, I think I overpaid you. Uh, do you want me to count it out? It'll take, uh, take a long time. Oh, wow, this guy. All right, you know what? Take the money. It's all right. I'll figure this out. <laughs> it's not like there's any other money left in the universe, dude. All right, Frank, we better get out of here anyway. We gotta entertain ourselves for the rest of the day. Hang on a second. You guys hear that? That sounds like police sirens. Okay, I'm just gonna get away from my house. I don't want them to come towards me. Just, just in case they see the builders and stop the actual build. Do -do -do. Nothing to see here. Wait, is that a tank? Oh, no, this is the military. Freeze. Hey, uh, you want me to freeze? Is that a rocket launcher in your hand? Uh, you're not going to shoot this close. Quick, Franklin, drive, freeze. drive, drive. Stop telling me to freeze. I'm not going to freeze. No, they shot a rocket launcher. No, <gasps> Franklin, Frank. Oh, no, guys. They shot a rocket at my bike. Are you kidding me? My head. No, I'm in prison. Oh, no, no, no. This is really bad. Guys, you gotta let me out of here. Come on. You don't understand. Is he awake? I believe so, sir. Oh, yeah. You better believe I'm awake. I'm getting ready to shove this fist in your face. Come on out. I'm waiting. Wait, you want me to, to come outside? Okay. Let me look at this place. Ooh, there's a lot of soldiers around. Oh, hey, man. <laughs> what a coincidence, eh? Get on your knees. Okay, this is a little bit scary. You don't understand what you're doing, okay? You're making a big mistake. I said, get on your knees. What if I don't want to, huh? Oh, what if I don't? Ah, ow, come on, man. I'll make you get to your knees. He just smacks me on the ground. Looks like I haven't got much of a choice. These guys aren't playing around. What do you want from me, mister? I haven't got anything to give you. We're hungry, Frank. We want our money. Oh, you want your, your money? Let me just check my accounts. Ah, oh, zero bucks. Yeah, it's gone. Disappeared. I haven't got anything to give you. I'm just as poor as you guys. He spent everything on the house. That's a shame. You're gonna make a mess of my floor. Oh no, he's actually gonna take me out. Hey mister, please, you don't wanna do this. Smack subscribe to survive? Wait a second. You guys can save me. If you smack subscribe as hard as you can uh, and as quick as you can, then we can save Franklin together. And he better be saved because I, I wanna see his house. Please mister, you, you gotta give me some time. Can I tell you a joke? I need you to smack subscribe now as hard as you can, guys. Like, give it a punch, give it a whack. Do everything you can to it. Oh my days, please don't do this. Please don't do this. Say goodbye. Okay, now he's really not kidding. I genuinely think he's going, ah, ow, come on. He actually shot me. Did we not get enough subscribers? Frank, switch to Michael. Wait, is this it? I don't think we get to see his house again. It's been a pleasure, Frank. I can't believe it ends this way. What's Michael doing? Looks like he's just doing some shopping. Like, he has no idea what's just happened. Franklin is arrested. He spent a gugillion dollars. He might even be dead. Wait, we can rescue him? All right, Michael, looks like we got a job to do. We only have five minutes to rescue him as well. He's still alive. He's still alive. I think we got just enough subscribers, but we got to rescue him quickly. If that five minutes runs out, we might actually lose Franklin and lose the house altogether. Reports of a gugillionaire shot in the police station. Money will be distributed to the public soon. 
talking about it on the radio as well. Wow, this is big news. Okay, we better be careful going into this station. Oh my days, they're already driving supercars away from there. It's like they're celebrating again. Now they know their money's coming back. <laughs> I mean, that's actually kind of good. Okay, there is not much time to think about this, Michael. We're just going to do this right now. Hey, officer. <laughs> I need my buddy Frank back. Thank you. It's about time we give them a taste of their own medicine. Hey, boys. I'm here to get my friend. And if anyone tries to stop me, believe me, you will go down. Oh, yes. The jail cells are right here. And right, what's the most powerful gun we have which doesn't hurt Franklin? We got a bit of time. You know what? This shotgun's probably it. Let's do this. Hey, officers. <laughs> I would like my friend back, please. Oh, jeez. Okay, they all got guns. Every single one of them's got guns. <laughs> please don't kill Michael as well. Oh, my days. He's on the ground shooting me, dude. Okay, get him, get him, get him, get him. Quick, quick, Michael. This is fantastic. I've got a bit of cover. And now I've got a good process going on. I see you behind the wall, mister. Oh, jeez. No, no, no. <laughs> How's it looking down there? Oh, yep. Yeah, this is easy peasy. <laughs> you guys got to reload. Oh, that's kind of cute. Guess what? I don't really have to. I got three bullets left. Hey, Frank. Good to see you, my guy. So glad you're alive. Kinda. Still barely surviving. Gee, someone's- They're in the prison cell! Just gotta deal with this last guy and we're bam! That's everyone down. So glad I wore bulletproof armor. Basically the same stuff these guys wore. Wait, is he locked himself in the cell? Two- Three of them in the cell? <laughs> guys, it's bulletproof glass. Don't know what to say. Oh my days, there's the police officer where I'm getting you, mister. How dare you? You're the guy who took out Frank! Or what have I got? I got some tear gas, got a jerry can. Oh, a grenade. That ought to be quite fun. Heads! Shoulders, knees, and toes. <laughs> Alright, this isn't good. The police are actually coming in. Frank, you're coming with me. I'm getting you out of here. Come on. Let's get you in my car. Now, let's get you out of here before the police arrive. I can hear backup on their way. So many sirens coming towards us. Please tell me there's a car out here. There's gotta be. Yes, there's a police car. If we get him in the back of that, then we're gonna be just fine. Come on. Come on. Just a little bit more, Michael. A little bit more. All right, Frank. Let's get you down to the ground and get in this car. I should have known this. I put Frank on the back seat. His head's below the windows. He'll be fine. We just gotta focus on Michael now. Five stars. Helicopters in the sky. Oh, yes. A spooky train yard where there's barely anywhere to drive. This is fantastic. What a what a spot to be, Mike. Oh, this is not good for a car. Especially a police car. The suspension's terrible. Can I get around this way? Yes, we can. Oh, beautiful. I'll hide in this garage. They'll never find us in here. It is my responsibility to get Franklin to a safe place. And once we do that, he can heal up and get ready for this amazing house, which is going to happen later on today. How's it looking outside? Anything? Oh, yeah. Okay, we've got a couple of people searching for us, but I think we're going to be just fine. What did I say? Just fine we are. Well, I'm glad that's over. I'm taking Frank back to my house. At least until all of this blows over and he, he gets a bit better. Frank, rest up. You took quite the hit there in the police station. I'll deal with the rest of it and I'll let you know when the house is ready. Hey, hang on a second. Do you guys hear that? I think that's his phone. Well, it'll be rude not to check. It's the builders. I think the house is finally done. Hey, Frank. Frank. Oh, he's not waking up. I better take the call. Hello? Hey, who's this? It's uh, Mike. Uh, Frank's friend. Is the house done? Have you got $10 million, Mike? Uh, no, I don't have 10 million dollars. We can't build the house without it. We need 10 mil. Oh, really? I'll figure it out. Can we do a trade? There's not much money left in this world. Yeah, we can trade. All right, then. I'll, I'll see you later. A gugillion dollars. I thought that would be enough, but now they want 10 million. This is a ripoff. They shouldn't be asking for this, but hey, I need to make 10 million dollars, and I've got just the right idea. Uh, it's not exactly money to be made in Los Santos, but there's one person I know in this city which has expensive taste. They will definitely have something worth 10 million dollars. Let's go and pay them a visit on behalf of Franklin. Simeon Yatsarian, the only person I know who has supercars worth $10 million. And by the looks of it, this is a pretty good day for him. Now all I gotta do is wander in, grab a car, drive out of there, and <laughs> it'll be smooth sailing home. Hey, Simeon, how you doing? Love these cars. Welcome to Simeon's store. Would you like a car? Yes, I would like a car. Can you tell me how much each car is worth? They cost anywhere between 10 million million to 50 million what would you like for okay so any of these cars will cover the cost i would like hmm, which one do you reckon i mean this yellow one looks amazing i would like this car please simeon and guess what i'm not going to pay <laughs> wait the engine's not working Oh, well, this is a bit awkward. I really thought I could just drive away. Oh, now Simeon's walking over to me. You idiot. You really think I would let you take a car? Talk to me. Why do you need supercar? I need a supercar to, to trade with a guy. He needs $10 million. I understand. You do one job for me, and I give you car. Well, I suppose that won't hurt. All right, Simeon, you got the deal. But whatever happens, I don't want to die on this job. I can't make a promise. 
but you should be okay. Looks like we're doing some work for Simi on them, but once I do this job, he's gonna give me this car, which will be plenty of money to get that house sorted. Give me the info, and I won't let you down. Look out for the police officer. He knows me. Tell him I sent you. Okay, so through that door is a police officer, which I gotta go and speak to. I'm a little bit nervous right now because you know what the police did to Franklin? They kicked him out for the whole video. And this is meant to be his house upgrade. All right, this better not be a stitch up. Hey, officer, I'm putting a lot of trust in you. Simeon sent me. Ah, oh, you were sent by Simeon, eh? The cars are on the plane. It takes off in 10 minutes. Wait, Simeon wants me to collect the cars on the plane. Okay, we got 10 minutes until it takes off. We can make that. Where's this plane they're talking about? I don't see anything on the runaway. Whoa! All right, I do see that. Okay, it's already moving. That means they're going to be taking off very soon. Once they get around to the other side of the runway, they'll be flying in the sky. And I still need to get these cars. Wait, are those the guys who loaded them? Okay, let's just make sure they don't bother us either. Yep, these are definitely the guys who loaded these cars. And they're willing to shoot me, which means they got a lot to protect. All right, those guys are dealt with. And let's find a way on this plane before it takes off. Quick, 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 quick. If we can just get through the back, then we're gonna be just fine. How do I open the back of this? Oh, come on, please, open. We need to get this down. Oh, come on. Okay, that's not opening up for me. It's locked. I gotta find another way in. Oh no, it's speeding up, it's speeding up. We're gonna have to try and climb onto something. What about this wing? Oh, it's no use, it's too high. I'm gonna need to take that vehicle. If I can climb on the roof and then climb on the wing, we might just be able to make it. Yes, I've got the car. Now let's drive it to the wing. I've never tried to get on a plane like this, but I feel like this is super dangerous. All right, nice jump out, and let's get on this wing quickly. Come on, jump up, and quick, don't lose it. Ah, nice. Oh, hold on, hold on. I've made onto the wing, which is fantastic. Now I can find another way in from the roof. Ah, oh, that hurts. Whoa, wait a minute, though. These are the cars. <laughs> We're in the plane, and uh-oh. Okay, that doesn't sound too good, and these guys haven't even noticed me. Quick, let's get them before they turn around. <laughs> okay, nice. But, oh, oh, my days. Okay, they really have taken off. How on earth am I supposed to get all of these cars out of the plane? Let me just take a look outside. Gotta kick this down first. Come on, get this, get this to come down. If I can just weigh this down with my body. Oh, oh, oh my days. Okay, we are in the sky. How do we get this high already? All right, uh, we can do this. This is crazy, Simeon. I can't believe you wanted me to do this. Wait a minute. How am I gonna do that? There's one, two, three for five different cars, and I have to somehow get them off the plane. I think I've got an idea. If I attach every single car together, I can drive the front one out and take all of them with me. That is a genius idea, but the front one better be powerful. All right, nice. Okay, they're all on. Let's get this out of here. This is a super risky plan. Let me see. Is there anything I can use? Turbo. There it is. All right, let's do this. Arr, come on. We're still not in the red. Okay, we can go even faster than this. Where's the other switch? Supercharged turbo. Come on. On. Yes! Okay, we're pushing to the edge. We can do this. This is insane. I am dragging five supercars off a cargo plane. We better do this quickly before we go over water. And last time I checked, we were in Los Santos. But once it gets off the island, we're screwed. The things I do for Simeon. Just a few more meters to go, Mikey. You got this. You can do this. We're getting there. I think I burst a tire. Here goes nothing. Simeon, this is for you. <laughs> oh my days. I have never done this in GTA 5. If only Franklin knew what we were getting up to today. All right, Mikey, we got to land this and not destroy the cars. Oh, my days. Wait a second. I think they're okay. We almost squished a few people, but they look drivable. <laughs> that was insane, dude. That deserves a like. I don't even think they've done this in Fast and Furious. That's how crazy it was. As promised, Simeon, every single car from that plane. You just got to forgive me on the damage. We did have to drive out of the plane like a mile up in the sky. But hey, I got the rights for you. A deal's a deal. Good enough. Take the car. Whichever one you want. I will, Simeon. I will. Now we got the pass from Simeon, I can finally take the car and trade it for the house upgrade. <laughs> All right, Mikey, jump in and let's deliver this to those builders. I can't believe Simeon let me have this car for five of the vehicles I took from the cargo plane. I mean, this is a seriously rare ride. There's only one or two of these which ever exist, and they're both in Simeon's store. The interior is fitted out with the best details possible. The steering wheel is on the right way around from the UK. <laughs> and everything 
everything else about this ride is just beautiful. Hello, hello, buddy. I got the ride. He looks happy to see me. Will this do for the $10 million you asked for? I mean, I was told it's worth at least 10. This is amazing. This will do perfectly. Yay. All right. We, we got the job done. So you don't need any more money? No, we're done. Do you want the key? Do I want the key? But this is Franklin's house. He robbed a bank and did a lot of hard work to make that money. But we could just nab it last minute and <laughs> take the house from him. I mean, after all, I'm the reason this plan even went ahead. I mean, if I didn't get that car, this house wouldn't have even been built. I mean, I think Michael deserves a little bit of credit for that. Hey, I'm getting bored. Do you want the key or not? Yeah, I'll take the key. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'll take the house. This is great. Deliver it to Frank. After all, he is the real owner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll deliver it to Frank. Don't you worry about that. I got the key. He just gave me the key to the Gugillionaire house. And now I've got the key. I can do whatever I want and never... Oh, oh, hey, Frank. Hey, this is a bit awkward, isn't it? Let me just... There we go. One for one. So, <laughs> what's up? Oh, you want the key? Listen, that, that guy's got the key, buddy. No, I gave the key to you. Hey, hey, come on. Come on. No need to rat on me. Now he's gone. It's just me and you. Listen, Frank, you were out for the whole day. I looked after you. I saved your life. All right, if it wasn't for me, you would be dead in a police station and I would still have this house anyway. So I deserve some credit. Okay, you know what? I've got an idea. Clearly this isn't going to go anywhere. One game of golf, me and Frank, winner gets the house. How does that sound? This could be the biggest plot twist in GTA history. Yeah, Franklin doesn't seem too happy about that. He looks genuinely terrified in those eyes. If I beat Franklin at this game of golf, I get to take his house for good. Hey, so Frank, you ready to lose out on a good gillion dollars? I mean, that, that name even sounds Sounds funny, just like your face, Frank. <laughs> I'm throwing them out there left, right, and center. Bam! <laughs> All right, let's get started. I'm not gonna waste any time. I'm gonna check out where the wind's going. Is it going east? Or is it going south and west? Whoa, there's quite a gale. <laughs> Better be careful for that. So let's see. If I want to beat the gale, we're gonna have to whack it about no uh, practice swing. All the pros do practice swings, and again. Could have done a bit better, Mike, but that's still all right. You know, that's not a bad shot whatsoever. That's basically the kind of shot Franklin would do. It's a new record, so let's go easy on him for now. I'm here to steal. That's all I'm going to do. Ooh, that's a little bit too far to the left there, Frank. You're on the path, basically. I mean, a few inches to the left, and that wouldn't have even been allowed. All right, where's his ball? I think I think his game is just ball power. It's right there. I reckon I could waste a shot, and I would still beat him. But I'm going to play this fair and square. Let's send it over there. Nice. Okay, that's a bit too powerful, but we're okay. Everything's fine. Michael's doing well. He's gonna hit the tree, let's be honest. Oh, jeez. This is why Franklin needs me to play for him all the time. Oh, you know what? Given everything that happened, that's actually not too bad. <laughs> Get on the green now, Frank. That's, that's too powerful. Way too... Okay, almost... Almost in the sand. You know what? I reckon we could win this. I can see that. It's going to the hole. <laughs> Imagine if we get a hole in one. we bam Nice one. Uh-oh. Wait, is this going to go in the sand? Oh, no! It's in the sand! I've never got it in the sand before. Okay, Frank's on shot number five. That's on the green. Okay, he might get it in on seven shots. That's what I'm thinking. If we're being realistic right now, how many do we have? Okay, this is shot number four. Let's get it out the sand. Focus on that for now. Go out the sand. Play it safe. Play it safe. On the green, just ahead of Frank's. That's a putting distance. We can get it in. No way is Franklin going to get that in the hole. Oh, my days. Okay, seven shots. Like I said, he got a bogey. It's respectable, but it's pretty terrible, to be honest. If we get this in now, then we get this house. All right, I'm thinking holes there. The wind's going back. Get in the other. Oh, hold up. Please tell me this. That's going. Oh, yes, he's in. We got it on par. Check it out. Franklin, give me that house. You lost by one shot. A deal's a deal, Frank. Pay up now. Oh, wait, wait, wait. He's going to shoot me. Hey, hey, come on, Frank. You got me. He just went back on his wood. Are you kidding? Hey, I'm dead, Frank. I'm dead. You got me, all right? You happy? I can't believe Franklin just stole the keys back from Michael. Even after the game of golf, he wasn't happy with that. Anyway, let's go and check it out, wherever this house is. Hey, that must be my lift. Uh, hello, mister. Are you looking for the uh, person who owns the Gugillionaire house? Because that would be me. Congratulations on winning the golf game. Oh, yeah. Uh, thanks, I suppose. He's lying. Shut up, Michael. No one cares about you. All right, get me in the car. Drive me to this house. I want to see it. Actually, the car drives itself. Have fun. The car drives itself? Amazing. Well, I don't have to do anything then. All we got to do is sit back, relax. I will see you guys when we get to the Gugillionaire house upgrade. Are you excited? I am excited. This is the most amount of money I've ever spent on a house in GTA 5. It's gonna be insane. This 
Is the Googili in the house upgrade? Wait, before I go inside, I want to get, like, a view from up on this hill. I gotta get a view. I'm taking over on this car. This house looks crazy. Wow. So, to really appreciate this place, you've gotta get high up. It is the biggest house I have ever seen. It's got three different car parks underneath. It's got a runway. Okay, I need to explore this place. I am freaking out right now. Franklin, get in that house now and check it out. So, this looks like the only way into the house. It's a drive, which takes you up to a gate. It's number 1,000. Vinewood drive. This is the thousandth house. That's a number that's easy to remember. Welcome to my basketball court. Uh, yeah, I think this is a great place to play basketball. Ooh, wonder where that goes to. Wait, I see a marker. Garage deck. That must take you down to the um, garages below the house. Yeah, let's go and check that out. Cool. So this is the deck. So this is the first one. When I was above there, I saw three. Can I still see them down here? Yep, one. And then I think the other one is right at the bottom. <laughs> wow. And I can drive between each garage area. That is crazy. Check it out. I can go down here. I can go down to the other one. There's so many cars. And they're all supercars. And they go on for literally ever. There's got to be at least 100 on this deck. Anyway, go back inside. I want to see the rest of this house. So I can drive up this way. And I don't actually know where this takes me to. But apparently you can drive cars there. Which takes me to the back of my house. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Franklin, it's a good job you did stick up for this house because they completely themed it around you. That would have been seriously awkward if we gave it to Michael. <laughs> Wait, I need to see some of those photos. Check it out, guys. This is hilarious. So this is my office slash reception room. It's me, Franklin Lamar. Franklin Clinton and partner. That must be the house we sort of built it from. That's a very nice house. It's basically a fortress. Wow, and look, there's a Bedford shop. Oh, doesn't get any more adorable than this. This is one of the kitchens and can I just say, there is like a shallow splash pool which goes around the entire like garden. I need to get outside and see that. But first, here's my other kitchen slash bar. We've got a bit of wine here, a little bit of drinks. And there's my piano, Don't Touch. It belonged to a very famous person who now isn't around anymore, but that was once their piano, I promise. There's my lounge, is my other lounge. More photos of Frank at my old house. Good old 3671 Drive. I, I forgot the name, but hey, that was where I lived before. Here's my trophy display. This is where we get all our trophies for being just an absolute boss. And down here is the toilets. Toilet made just for bosses. There's even a, a shower in there as well, in case anyone needs to shower. Before I go upstairs, I want to check out downstairs. If there's anything cool about this house, it's got to be down here. I don't want to see the bedrooms or anything. I want to see what cool things they've given me. So they're giving me some artwork. Nice, some golden records. Oh, why are there people in here? Oh, I got a cinema. Awesome. This is the garage where we came through. Okay, that's, yeah, that's good. Through here is another lounge. Franklin Clinton and Partners. Nice. Oh, there's all my guitars. There's my cars. There's my recording studio. What? I can make music in here now? And what's through here? This looks like a vault. Wait, escape. Hang on a second. If I move the money out the way, there's a trap door which I can go down. I gotta check out this trap door. Oh, there's an underground tunnel. I have never had a house which has an escape route. I mean, everything's been connected in the past, but this is next level. And just in case the police arrive or someone tries to get my money or something, I can go down through here in style and escape my own home. Oh, uh, watch out for that, Franklin. <laughs> Just tripped over on a rock. This is what a Googillionaire always needs. I mean, when you have this much money, so many people are gonna come after you. And this is where we end up. Where even is this, actually? Through a little forest, which is at the side of the house. Okay, that's pretty cool. Get to climb back up over my helipad with my golden helicopter on. Sorry, guys, I gotta stop bragging. <laughs> There's too many good things around it. Oh, I got a gym. Nice. So I haven't even been outside, but on the ground level, you know, just above the cars is the splash pool, which we saw go around the entire house. But if we go up another level, there is an actual swimming pool that we can use. And there's deck chairs outside, a nice place to rest, get a nice tan, etc. Open lounge, which we've already been through. And up there is the bedrooms. So let's not waste any more time. I want to check out the actual bedroom. So check this out. This is another lounge. How many lounges does a house need? I mean, I don't have this many friends. Chop, another bed for him in case he wants to sleep in my room, I suppose. Or is this Chop's room? I, I don't actually know. It's a huge bed, though, so I wouldn't complain. This is the bathroom for that room. Yep, pretty big. It's basically three bathrooms. Wait, 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 wait a second. Wait a second. I need to inspect this again because did I just see two toilets? One there and one there. I have never seen a bathroom with two toilets. Now you and your partner can go to the toilet together. <laughs> this is so strange. What's through here? Ooh, lots of Oreo posters. All right, I would love an Oreo right now. That would literally make the house complete. But instead, this is just another bedroom, walk-in wardrobe, another bathroom. And around this way is just a balcony, which looks over my amazing office. 
office. Well, this is officially the best house ever, but we haven't seen everything. You might remember, there's a runway on top of this house. I can't forget that. There's some colorful planes. They look beautiful. And there's also this little house thing over here. Looks pretty interesting. Kind of like an open air house. And inside are some pretty rare cars. How do I get them from down here? Like, why are they on the runway? That's an interesting one. All right, I'm gonna have to jump in and figure this out myself. It's a Lamborghini. It's got a spoiler. It drives. The wheels work. Oh, wait, it does do something. The wheels just went up. Does that mean it can... It can fly. That would explain why it's on the runway. I got a flying supercar. <laughs> and they gave me three of them. Oh, Simeon's gonna be so annoyed when he finds out I've got one of these. And no matter how hard he tries, he's never gonna get them because this house is a fortress and no one is gonna enter without me knowing. So if you enjoyed the video, smash like and help us get to 7 million subscribers. And if you want me to come back and do an even better house upgrade, I'm gonna need you guys to smash like as hard as you can because I don't know how we're gonna make the money, but I will figure it out if you guys want me to that much. But thanks for watching. My name is Nort, and this is officially the very first Googillionaire house in GTA 5. I will see you guys next time.